All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a comp, uh, which I did right here. So this is a video I just did on my phone. I imported it really easy. All you have to do is click up here on this rectangle tool, double click it, and let's get rid of the stroke by just doing that. And you want to scale this so it's uh, we're going to control the height. And right here, if you hold command and hit the tilde, which is right next to the one, I believe that's what it's called. If I'm wrong, just let me know. And the size, we're going to unlock it. And we're going to make this like 20. And we're going to give it a fill color of red. And hit it there. And let's make this up a little bit more. Okay. Go to the beginning. We're going to hit I to go to the beginning of the uh, layer right there. We're going to hit return and hit uh, bar. And we're also going to hit command tilde again. Now this is the easy part. Go to the very end of the video. And I know it's the end of the video because it's happening right here. The video end is that. Wherever I drag it, that is the end of the video and nothing's happening after that. That tells me that this is the end. So what you want to do is go to the bar. Make sure that it is uh, on the bottom here to show the progress. Hit option P because that's the position you want it to end at. And hit I to go to the very beginning. And I'm going to hit uh, command plus to go in a little bit. You're going to hit option P, and it's going to control the beginning position, which means that in the beginning, this is where the bar is, and at the end, this is where the bar is. This what these keyframes do. I'm going to go to the beginning again. If I was here, I would just have to hit I. I'm going to click on here and drag and hold shift. If I don't hold shift, I can go anywhere I want, but if I hold shift, I can control it. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. And right to there is the beginning. Perfect. That's fine. And uh, I just turned the volume off of my self-talking because I don't think anybody really needed to hear that in the tutorial. But we're going to do a test. So if I scrub it, you'll see that there's a progress bar right there for the whole time. And it'll end at the end of the video. And that shows people the whole time that this is what how long the video is going to be. And visually, they can see, OK, cool. I've got about 50% of this thing before it's out. It's a way to not have to have like a timer on here that would tell you that you have your five seconds in and you've got another five seconds or six seconds to go. But that is it. And if we test it, I'll hit control zero. It's got to fill in all these gaps and render. You'll see as I'm talking here that it's uh, moving along. And let's say do 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 gets to the end and it's done. And you can see the whole time I'm talking that it shows the progress of what's happening. And that's it. That's how, I, that's definitely one way that Gary V has it done, or he might be using Premiere, but that's how you do it in After Effects. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. My name is Mike, and if you want to email me, mike at drive80.com. I'm going to hit this, make this red, do this, go into the center. There we go. Yeah, mike at drive80.com. You can also leave a comment wherever this video is. You can email me with any questions, and if you don't want to do any of this stuff yourself, you can just uh, go to drive80.com. And actually, no, that's if you want an explainer video, go to drive80.com. You can check out the explainer videos we do. If you want some one-on-one -on -one training, uh, I also do uh, that. I do hour, have an hourly rate, and if you also want me to do it for you, I have another hour, hourly rate for that. But that is my video. Yay!